God, when you went forth before your people, marching with them and living among them. The earth tremble, heavens pour down rain. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, as we come around the table of the Lord once again to give glory to our risen Lord, let us prepare ourselves to receive him in the sacrament by calling to mind our sins and asking him for his mercy and his forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you are the word incarnate. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you suffered on the cross and died for us. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you rose from the dead and won for us the gift of life eternal. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And let us pray. O God, who for the salvation of the world brought about the Paschal sacrifice, be favorable to the supplications of your people, so that Christ, our High Priest, interce interceding on our behalf, may, by his likeness to ourselves, bring us reconciliation, and by his equality with you, free us from our sins. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When the court officers had brought the apostles and made them stand before the Sanhedrin, the high priest questioned them, We gave you strict orders, did we not? to stop teaching in that name. Yet you have filled Jerusalem with your teaching and want to bring this man's blood upon us. But Peter and the apostles said in reply, We must obey God rather than men. The God of our ancestors raised Jesus, though you had killed him by hanging him on a tree. God exalted him at his right hand as leader and savior, to grant Israel repentance and forgiveness of sins. We are witnesses of these things, as is the Holy Spirit whom God has given to those who obey him. When they heard this, they became infuriated and wanted to put them to death. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Taste and see how good is the Lord. Bless the man who takes refuge in him. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The Lord confronts the evil doors to destroy remembrance of them from the earth. When the just cry out, the Lord hears them, and from all their distress he rescues them. The, the Lord, Lord hears the cry of the poor. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted, and those who are crushed in spirit he saves. Many are the troubles of the just man, but out of them the Lord delivers him. The, the Lord, Lord hears the cry of the poor. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. You believe in me, Thomas, because you have seen me, says the Lord. Blessed are those who have not seen, but still believe. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord 
Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. The one who comes from above is above all. The one who is of the earth is earthly and speaks of earthly things. But the one who comes from heaven is above all. He testifies to what he has seen and heard, but no one accepts his testimony. Whoever does accept his testimony certifies that God is trustworthy. For the one whom God's, God sent speaks the words of God. He does not ration his gift of the Spirit. The Father loves the Son and has given everything over to him. Whoever believes in the Son has eternal life, but whoever disobeys the Son will not see life, but the wrath of God remains upon him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We must obey God rather than men. The powerful words of St. Peter in our first reading today from the Acts of the Apostles. As we continue to hear of the many adventures of the Apostles following not only the resurrection of Jesus, but the ascension of Jesus into heaven as well. The Apostles have been going forth following the last commandment that Jesus has given to them to go forth preaching the good news, to make disciples of all nations. It's a reminder for us that this is our call as well. And at the end of the day, we are called to listen to the word of God, to obey God in our own lives. It doesn't necessarily mean that we go about disobeying every single law that is out there. It doesn't mean that just because we feel that we have to go proclaim the gospel, that we disobey the rules of social distancing or quarantining. There are times when we do need to listen to the laws that are being set forth for our protection and for our safety. It is, however, finding in the midst of respecting those laws, in the midst of respecting the rules and recommendations set out for us, how do we find a way to continue to preach the gospel of God, even in the midst of those circumstances? Rules, laws, rules, the recommendations that are in place for us should not deter us from ever proclaiming the good news of God. Because just as God does not ration out his share of the Holy Spirit, as we are reminded in our gospel today, we are called not to give just a little bit of our witness of God, but to give everything and all that we have in response to this wonderful mission that God has given to us to preach, to proclaim, and to live out this gospel message in Christ. We must obey God. We must listen to his word, finding in every different circumstance, in every different situation, a way to live out that message. And in those times when it might be difficult, when it might be challenging, when we feel overwhelmed and daunted by all that is going on, all we need to do is to call out to the Lord to help us be an effective witness in those times cry out to him because as we hear as we reminded ourselves in our responsorial psalm the lord hears the cry of the poor the lord hears all those who cry out to him asking him for his help and his guidance this is our way forward my brothers and sisters as we continue to respect the rules and the recommendations that have been set for us we are reminded that it should not stop us from sharing the good news of christ it should not stop us from living out our faith. But we should instead grow deeper in our spirituality, grow deeper in our relationship with God, find different ways to make these days holy and, and centered on Christ as we continue to grow in prayer, in scripture, in our reflections on the living word of God. As we continue on during this Easter season, giving praise, to the risen Christ. May he continue to take place in our hearts, lifting us up, reminding us of his love for us as we set forth to listen and to obey, to bring forth the good news of God every day.
So as we obey God in our hearts by being his disciples, let us in faith and confidence bring to him our prayers this morning. So we continue to pray for the church throughout the world. That as a people of faith, we may continue to listen to the words of God and sharing our faith every day. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We continue to pray for all world leaders. May they be influenced not by their own desires or their wishes, but instead be led and guided in a care and concern for the people entrusted to them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We continue to pray for all of our essential workers, for all of our nurses, our doctors, all those who continue to put their lives at risk, that they may be kept safe and healthy by our loving Lord. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all of our families, for all of our friends, that in these moments of uncertainty and doubt, that we may hold them up in faith and confidence as witnesses of Christ's love to them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We continue to pray for all those who are sick, especially those who are alone in the hospitals, unable to have their families with them. That in these moments, our Lord may be a source of comfort, healing, and of strength for them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who have died and gone before us. May they sleep and rest in the peace of Christ, who has promised us eternal life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And at this Mass, we pray especially for the repose of the soul of Nora Mitchell, and the, in, and the intentions of Nancy Ibora, for whom we offer this Mass today. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In the silence of our hearts, let us bring to God our own personal prayers this morning. For all these, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving and merciful God, you continue to give us the gift of your Holy Spirit, holding nothing back from us. Listen, we pray to the prayers we bring before you as we ask that trusting in Christ our risen Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands have become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. And may the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all of his holy church. May our prayers rise up to you, O Lord, together with the sacrificial offerings, so that, purified by your graciousness, we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, 
when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have thought us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Jose our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Our Lady of the Assumption, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, the form by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, <coughs> and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, will it remain forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. 
Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be filled. Behold, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Alleluia. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, increase in us, we pray, the fruits of this Paschal Sacrament, and pour into our hearts the strength of this saving food. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. alleluia.